So I have a bag full of things that I want to tie dye. There's things that I've thrifted, things that I've collected over the years. Uh, whenever the wine tie dyeing thing was a trend, I attempted to dye this with wine and it kind of worked and kind of ended up looking like I rubbed it in some dirt or blood or something, I don't know. But I found this little tie dye kit on clearance at Walmart and these are all colors that I really like and I think I can do some cute stuff with. Let's head outside. So I came outside to start setting everything up and I realized that I have made a grave mistake. I don't own rubber bands. So we're gonna go on an adventure to find some. And why it started raining the second I left the house, but say it with me. We are here for rubber bands and rubber bands only. We are not getting anything else. We are not looking at the Halloween section. We are not looking at Halloween mugs. We are here for rubber bands. Bag has been secured. And once we got home, I just started to shake out this plastic, put it on the floor to protect the concrete of my balcony so that, you know, I don't dye my balcony green. Because as fun as I think that would be, I don't know that the apartment complex would enjoy it. Got the rest of the supplies out and started getting the tie-dye kit together. Opened it up. Actually read the instructions for lunch, which is a new thing for me. Someone pat me on the back. Thank you, drive through. I don't know what this pen did. I think I just threw it away. And the kit came with rubber bands. <laughs> we went to Target for nothing. It's fine. I got a mug out of it. I'm not mad. Here I am just filling up these tie-dye bottles with water to the fill line and then shake, shake, shake it, shaking, shake, shaking, shaking like a Polaroid picture, shaking the bottles up and getting them ready to tie-dye with. Now I had pre-wet these I mean, literally just soaked them in the sink with water, which is why I'm wringing them out because some of them were still a little soaked. And then I don't know what I was doing. I had zero plan going into this of what designs I wanted to do, but I figured I would just let my instincts of creativity take me where they would along the wings of my fancy Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and let y'all watch me tie-dye some things, and I will talk to you in a moment. Enjoy! Editing Chloe here to remind you all that if you're going to record things on your phone, charge your phone beforehand because I didn't. And that's why this clip is about to abruptly end. You did not miss anything except for me tie-dyeing this sweater. Uh, it took a lot of dye. It took the last of my dye. 
but you will see the results of that momentarily. Charge your phones, kids. <laughs> it's several days later, but but we have we have tie dye to, to try on. Let's do a try on haul. First up is the Give Me Space shirt that I just put the green dye on. I think it's really cute. Uh, can do this with it. Style it like that. I think it turned out pretty well. Here's a close up of the tie dye. Pretty saturated, but I think it's cute. Yay. Next we have our dynamite shirt. This one I just put the pinks on, but whenever I was washing everything out, and I think in the wash, it ended up getting a little bit of the green blue dye on it. So it has that like hue to it. I'm not mad at it. I mean, this one is a lot more close up of the tie dye. Here's the sweater. So this one I was actually really worried about because it was soaking up a lot of dye and I wasn't sure that it was gonna end up saturating enough to get like the weird wine colored stains out of it. And, but I actually like, I like how it turned out. I think it's cute. It does still have a little, little bit of like the wine hue down here, but I don't think you can actually tell. So, I might end up going back in and putting some more dye on it. But I actually like, because just down here, I mean, I feel like from the back it looks fine, but it's just this, this area needs something. But other than that, like, cause I'm, I love the top half of it. I think it's really cute. Next. And finally we have what I'm calling my failed experiment. I thought that it might be cool to use this as like a tie-dye rag. So it was wiping up my excess dye that I had on the sheet that I was using. Um, and it, that's about what it looks like. It'll probably turn into a paint shirt for me, but yeah, failed experiment. It happens. I thought it might be cute, but it just looks like I took a, half dyed shirt and rubbed it in dirt <laughs> but that's that thank you guys so much for coming on this uh crafting tie-dye journey with me if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button click that post notification bell so that you don't miss out every time i upload if you liked the video click that like button and comment what your favorite piece was and what you want to see next okay have a great day bye